Good morning and welcome Team Southside where teamwork makes the dream work. Mr. Reynolds here. And Miss D, and we have some amazing fifth graders that we have. We've got Annabelle Fannin from Miss Molinax's class. Ella Tomlin from Miss Molinax's class. Abigail from Miss Molinax's class. <laughs> and they are here to help us out. So we are going to go ahead and stand up and say the pledge together. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, great job, ladies. Well, happy Friday to all of you watching. We hope you've had a great week. And since it is Friday, you guys know what that means. We are going to officially reveal our estimistry. But before we do, Let's review all of our clues that we've gotten so far. So you know we're taking these letters, you're trying to scramble them up, see how many words that you can create. And I've actually heard Mr. Reynolds, several classes and several kids have come up with a pretty That's good right. list of words. Yeah, in case you didn't know, the letters, I came up with these letters by the words snow day and we may or may not have one of those next week who knows but that's how i came up with the letters and so we had clues the first yes. clue was that it was more than the number of days in three months mm -hmm. and that it was less than the number of days in four, four. months and then yesterday miss d you gave the clue it was a three digit number and every single digit is an odd number so hopefully those clues kind of helped you narrow in your estimate and hopefully you have a pretty good idea of what it could possibly be. Yeah, and But before we give you the actual answer, we all have a word that you can make using those letters and we're going to share those. And I wonder if your class came up with these words. That's right. You want to start doing that? I came up with the word sway. What about you, Annabelle? I came up with the word sand. Good. Okay. No ways. Mm -mm. No ways. All right. <laughs> Say. All right. And mine was yawns. Oh, it is so tired. Yawns. Good ones. Anyway, so we said there were a lot more letters or words than we thought. The answer is 100. 11 words 111 wow. words can you believe it i could not believe that 111 yeah. words just with those letters yeah so i do have a little disclaimer <laughs> as i took those letters and i plugged them into a program on the computer and it told me the words and there are a few words on there i'm like eh, i'm not sure i would ever use those in a sentence <laughs> but if you look them up in the dictionary they're there so we're going to count 111 words i wonder which class ended up with the most i do those. too i do too we're gonna have to figure that mm. out so Great job, <laughs> they're saying fifth grade, so we'll have to see. Great job coming up with those words and lists. And 111, who knew you could create so many words with just those letters? All right, well you guys know, this weekend is actually going to be a long weekend because we do not have school on Monday in honor of Martin Luther King Day. And as you know, this week we've been spotlighting Martin Luther King Jr. and just the influence that he has had on our history. So we have another tidbit of information about Martin Luther King Jr. that we are going to share with you today. Yeah, so we've talked about his birth. That's right. And usually when we talk about famous people, we also talk about when they passed away or when they died. Right. And unfortunately, Martin Luther King was assassinated. <coughs> and so assassinated <laughs> means that someone else took his life, right? Yeah. And so, and that happened. Um, when he was in a town in which state? What city in the town? Mich Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, so he was in Memphis, Tennessee. And what about the month and the year? He, it happened on April 4th, 1968. So April 4th, 1968. So that means yep. he was only 39 years old 39. when he passed away. But he made some very significant uh, changes to the way things happen here in the United States and across the whole world. And one of his most famous things was a speech that he gave. You guys know the name of that speech? Um, I, I had a dream. dream. Good uh, job. Yeah, I have a dream speech. And I'm sure that you've talked about that some in your classes either uh, this week or maybe you'll talk about some next week. But anyway, <laughs> very important person in our history. And so we're off on Monday to celebrate his birthday. And the legacy that he has left behind, even though he was here for 39 years, like Mr. Reynolds said, what a powerful influence he had on the American people. All right, well, we are continuing. Miss Back is continuing access testing when we return after our long weekend. So even though it is a new week, we still have students working really, really hard on that. So great job, you guys as fifth graders, being nice and quiet when you see that sign in the hallway so you can show extra respect to those kids that are working so, so hard. 
Okay, well, you guys know we love seeing you be here at Southside every single day. And of course, we love seeing you be safe, safe respectful, respectful, and responsible. And it's always a great day to be a Southside Stallion. Bye, Bye. Girl.